Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And yes, look what I have on my on my desk. I went and did it. I made the plunge and I bought my first gel press. This is a five by seven gel press. Um yeah. I did it because if you have been paying attention, this is Coming up will be July, Je Jelly, oh shoot, I forgot the name, I forgot the hashtag, but it'll be in the title of my video. Um, anyway, Carrie the Crafter is doing his first challenge, and for the entire month of July, you're, you are to take jelly prints and make postcards, four by six postcards, and on the postcard has to be some piece of your jelly print. And the number, the date, like if it's July 1st, you have to have a one on it, July 2nd, a two on it, and so forth. Um, and they have to be four by six. Other than that, there are no um, no other rules. And you, you post a video or a picture every day of what you've done. So I'm combining today with, by the way, co the color challenge. And the colors for the month on the... Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Group are indigo, green, and yellow. So those were the colors I played with first on my jelly plate just to see what would come up. So let's go through all of this and, and we'll just talk for a little bit. I'm not going to jelly print on camera. I jelly printed last night for the very first time. We are in the middle of a heat wave here in the Finger Lakes. Um, temperatures, uh, the heat index has reached over 100 and it's really, really hot. So I'm spending as much time as I can in my study that has a room air conditioner in it. My craft room does not. So it's very, very hot in here. My jelly plates came yesterday at 8 o'clock last night. I said, I don't care. We are in the middle of a thunderstorm. I'm playing. And I almost gave myself heat stroke. So I said, okay, I, I didn't do very much. But I played. Or as Carrie would say, I had a play. It was a lot of fun. So let me show you what I have. I have the three color paints. Um, I have this from... This is just one of those rug things. You put it underneath the rugs and it keeps it from slipping. And I had a piece left over from doing this before. And I don't know where the bigger piece has gone. Um, I'll find it later. It's in, it's in the craft room somewhere and there's a tiny little craft room, so it's around. But I used this, and I'll show you the, how I, that came off. For my, um, I, by the way, and what part of what started this was my husband, because he went and bought two brayers. Uh, he wanted to, to try a brayer on, um, when he prepares his canvases for plain air, um, and that's where these paints came from. These are plain air paint. Uh, these were paints that he was using with plain air. This is from Permalba. And they're acrylic. This is from Reeves. And then this was a jar that I just bought at Joann's, I think. And it's multi-surface satin acrylic paint indigo night. Um, so anyway, he when he prepares his canvases, he's always been using a brush and then he has to worry about brush strokes and all that. And he said, you know, I think I'm just going to go ahead and buy a brayer. I said, go ahead, have a good time. So he did. And he bought a two inch and a four inch and he decided he wanted the two inch. I said, excellent, because I want the four inch. So I used my brayer last night for the very first time. It was a lot of fun and I discovered some things. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let me put that over here. But my Brayer Off sheets, and you can see I still have paint. I did not get all the paint off of me yet. My, my Brayer Off sheets, I thought, came out actually really cool. And I decided to use book pages, partly because they were big enough from this particular book. And it's a huge book, and I'm trying to get rid of it. Um, but I also thought, because I'll be able to use these then in my crafting. So I have those. I also bought, when I when I bought the gel press, um, it said people always, you know, when you're on Amazon, it says, uh, you know, what, what other people buy with it, and they had wet strength tissue. So I bought wet strength tissue, and wait till you see the package. This is it. 
I didn't realize it was, they were going to send me so much. It's a hundred sheets, and each sheet is as big as my mat, bigger than my mat. I, I mean, they're huge. They're, they're well. This is four. Well, maybe not quite that big because this is four times. I cut this down. I cut it in half. Then I cut it in half again. So yeah, this is this is a quarter of, of the size of the sheet, and that's only one sheet. And then I used computer paper. I just cut it in half, not evenly, as you can see. They are not evenly cut in half. I didn't care. I was just this was me just playing last night. So that's what I had. Okay. I also had a stencil. This is a stencil I got from the Dollar Tree. So it was a buck and a quarter. I didn't really care. And I have, in fact, now stained it with paint. So there, there's that. Because I th probably should have wiped it off last night. I was so hot and so overwhelmed. Um, I just ended up throwing it onto my... Um, Carrie says he has a shower curtain on the floor beside him and he puts everything down. Um, I don't really have a shower curtain at the moment that I wanted to put down. Besides which, there is just not enough room in here. Um, but, so what I have is an old tablecloth, an old vinyl tablecloth, you know, with the felt backing. But the top is, the, the, the top side of it is old and cracked. And I had put it aside thinking I would just use it as a drop cloth. And it's perfect because it's a circle. So I folded it in half. And the half size fits down here just fine. Um, I'll show you in a bit. I'll, ta I'll take you off the lens. Okay, so let me show you what I made. So these are my very, very first gel pulls. You can see that my brayering off is not great. That's what the lines are. I got lines in it. And that was um, one of my... Uh, this is, These are not in order. Uh, but this is the indigo... And then I used this particular piece to try and pull up some of the green when I did the green. Because the green, <coughs> excuse me, the green was, um, it stuck to that gel plate, something awful. As you can see, because I got it on the yellow. But this was the one that I used this for. And I had put it down, I had put the paint down, then I put this down and pressed it in, pulled this off, and then put the paper down. And that's what I got. It's not, these are not clean prints. These are so, I don't know what the heck I'm doing prints. I did this one slightly differently. This one I put, for this one, I put the paint down, and then I put this on the plate, or I put the stencil down on the plate, and then I did this off of it. For this one, I put the stencil down and then I put the paint on, which is why it's all over here. Yeah. Um, this is a piece of, I, well, I'm going to cover that over. Um, it has my address on it. It was just a piece of, of peelable label stuff. And I thought, oh, let's see what happened. So that's what happened. Um, hang on, let me get to, oh, that's a, those are pull-off sheets. So that's those are sheets that I used to try and clean it with. And you can see, now this one, I'll put a little white behind it so you can see better. Um, I had all this green still stuck on, the, on it. I couldn't get it off. I was having a terrible time getting it off with anything. So I remembered Carrie doing something at one point where he put, where he had stuff on it, and so he put down like a layer of white. I don't have any white, but I had a, what they call flesh tone. This, uh, come on, get out of the flesh tone things. This is not flesh tone. Um, so, but I put that down, and that pulled it up. I still don't understand the science behind it. I'm really trying to understand the science behind it, but that pulled up that peach color that does not really show up unless you put white behind it. You put, so I have that sheet. I have this sheet that I also use to pull off with. And then I use to clean the edges of my thing with. I wasn't, I'm, you know, playing. We're just playing. And then this was my other yellow. Um, 
I did two different straight pulls. Again, you can see my, you know, that was on the blue. So I have blue and yellow on here. I'm going to add a little green to it. This is the one we're actually going to play with today. Um, so let me do a quick cleanup and uh, we'll be right back to do some playing. Okay, I did want to say one more thing about this mat. This is an American Crafts, the Color of Memories mat. I have used it a couple of times uh, in the past when I have uh, it was down at the cabin. I used it underneath my uh, gel plate last night because I didn't want to get my regular mat messy. Uh, besides which, this has got really rough pieces. It's got stuff all over it. So I wanted something flat and safe that wasn't going to hurt my gel press. So I pulled this out. I have used it so rarely. And um, I got paint all over it. And I thought, okay, I guess this is now my braring, or my, uh, this is going to be my jelly press, press plate for a while. So I'm going to use this piece. And I have a couple of five by sevens. These are just uh, some scrap, oh, what's the word I want? Um, these were from a 12 by 12 that I cut up that I did not particularly like. And so I decided to use these for it. Sorry, I'm pausing. I'm back. You know, you got to wonder... How on earth can you lose a big book like this? I could not find my glue book. I'm looking around going, where the heck did I put my glue book? So I now have my glue book back. All right. So in any case, these are from a 12 by 12 that uh, I didn't like. And I cut it up into four by six sections and I figured I would cover them. And these would be part of my prep work for this July thing. Uh, because there's not going to be a lot of time. I'm going to get out my trimmer here. And I'm going to take off the white. Now when you're doing... So a lot of people are doing prep work. And if you look around the web, you'll see a lot of people saying, Okay, I'm going to do... I'm getting my numbers ready or I'm getting my postcards ready so that all they have to do during the month of July is actually the assembly part, the, the decorating part, you know, the fun stuff. Although I tell you, I'm having fun with this. This was a lot of fun last night and I may have, I may have almost had stroke, heat stroke, but I still had a lot of fun with it. Okay. Where am I on size go, going here? Okay. I am going to put just a little bit of a mark at four inches. I can only get one out of here. I was hoping to be able to get two out of here, but I'm not going to be able to. So let me mark it at four inches. That's really where I have to cut it off. And I'm cutting it a little bit. Actually, let's, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's just do this. And then you'll see what's going to happen. Okay, so this is a, just a piece of computer paper. It's, there's nothing fancy about it. But let me see where I want this to go. I think I want, because I definitely want to get the yellow in it. But I definitely want the, there. I think I need the indigo. There we go. We're going to do it right here. All right, so I am grabbing my glue stick. It is already starting to get warm here in the Finger Lakes. That glue stick is done. Not sure why it's still in my pile over here. We'll grab a different one. There we go. It is very, very warm. And I have made, I've done a whole lot of printing for fussy cuts. So I will have lots of labels. I'm, see, I am losing everything here today. Okay, so I said I wanted to get as much of that as I could. So let me put this down this way. And I'll, sh I'll show you the other ones that I have prepped. Because I'm prepping a lot of them. 
Now today's colors, I'm using the same colors as the media mixed media artists um, because let me let that dry for a second and I'll show you these other pieces because I, I just I haven't had a whole lot of time so I thought all right so th these are the ones I, st I still have three left to cover so I've just covered one I still have three left to cover I've already covered a bunch of them this is with a piece of Goethe and it didn't wasn't quite big enough but it was close enough this was uh, out of a science book and I covered it with that. This was out of a dictionary, and I just I thought that was a cool thing. That's a bit of a, one of those coloring book things. A piece of music, and another piece out of a, a book, much smaller writing. And I kind of liked the margin in here because I figured I'll do something with that. A lot of this will get covered over. This has got a lot of writing space on it. Um, so I don't know what I'll do with that one. This was one of those that I was covering, but I really liked the flowers, so I left it. This is one that I may choose to cover yet, um, or but I really kind of liked those, so I thought, well, what the heck, we'll just leave it. And these, these are uncovered. These are all just pieces. Okay, there's got to be some others in here that I did. Yeah. Um, there's a piece with a map on it. There's a piece with Hebrew on it. Um, and I wrote on it top so that I would remember because I don't read Hebrew, so I get it mixed up and I want to make sure that I get it in the right direction and I don't goof up the orientation. So I wrote in pencil up here top and I can always take that off when I am ready. So I have my little basket. I have my numbers. These are a bunch of numbers that I've already collected. I haven't gone through you know, what's that? There's a big one in there that doesn't belong in there. Oh, I may have put that, that in there because I couldn't find a different eight. The 48, and then there's an 866 or 899 or 998, depending upon how you want to do it. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of numbers in there of all different sizes and shapes. And yes, there's repeats because I don't know what I want when I'm actually putting the numbers on them. So I have my numbers ready. I have my bases ready. Um, or at least that's what I'm doing today. So let's go ahead and cut this off. And my first gel press pull. I am so excited. There is obviously nothing fancy about this. I, you know, I played around with the one stencil, but I really didn't make much of an attempt. There we go. Other than that, so that base is now prepped and ready. It needs some green on it. So I am going to do just a tiny bit of decorating and I'm going to find my, I wanna try, I think, cracked pistachio. It's very, very bright, I think. So let me grab my stamp, be right back. Okay, I just wanted to show you, I just went to the Dollar Tree a couple days ago uh, in Geneva, New York, and they had, isn't this wonderful? A nice set of alphabet stamps with numbers. I have a, a set of stamped numbers that are smaller, but there are also numbers here. So I thought, okay, with July coming up, that'll give me another option to play with. This set of stamps, and they're, they're not fancy. There are a lot of clothes stamps. There's a lot of like dresses and shoes, and but there's a rose, there's the tower, uh, it's not the Leaning Tower of Eiffel up there. There's another Eiffel Tower down here. So there's some stamps, and I thought that would be really cool to use at some point. And then I like this one. This It's got a clock in it. It has a bell in it. I really like the frame. There's a wine bottle. There's a postage stamp. There's another alarm clock and a uh, um, little jalopy and a typewriter, and a book, and a pipe. There's all sorts, and I think those are grapes. I'm not entirely sure, but there's also a clef, a music clef, the C clef. So, or not the C clef, the treble clef. Duh. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I only took music classes for how many years? Okay, so what I'm using is also from the Dollar Tree, this particular set, stamp set, and I have the great big one in the middle here. Because all I'm going to do to this today, and this is this is a short day, so I'm going to take this very, very bright green, 
get it all over my stamp. This is Distress Oxide Cracked Pistachio. And I'm going to put it, I'm actually going to do this on my glue book because it's got a little bit better surface. I'm going to put it right there. And we're going to see if this works. By the way, those two pieces that I cut off, yeah, those will go in a box. And we will keep those for use as we go through the month of July. Oh, you can't see it. It's not, not dark enough. What it's certainly in the background, which is kind of what I wanted um, to put this into the background. Oh, the other thing I have to get ready for this month, this was a, a scrapbooking day-by-day -day calendar from 2008, but I thought I could also take out the dates. I've used some of them, and some of them are two dates, so they're not going to be useful, but I thought I might, I want to keep those as an option as well. So I've got all sorts of things that I have been pulling out, getting ready, um, organizing, and seeing what's what. I really have seemed to have, there it is. I was going to say, I made my Stampin' Off page really, really bright, and then I ended up using it, so I'm looking for a bright page, and I don't have it, because I used it. All right. All right, so... I'm not doing a whole lot today with those colors because I just wanted to see how this went. Um, what I might do is take a darker green. I have pine needles here. And I have on this, I have just this little leaf. Let me grab another block. I have a bunch of blocks. That's one of the things with these gel prints. Um, I, you know, people say I have all of these different um, gel plates. They have, and I bought a 5x7 to start with. I also bought an 8x10. And the reason I did that is because I had... Well, I do like it up here. I was just planning to buy the 5x7, but if I bought... There was a deal that if you bought the 5x7 and the 8x10 together, you got like $20 off. And I thought, okay, I'm going to do that. Oh, I like that. Okay. I like that better. I'm stamping that right off. And this, again, this will be background. I don't know what's going to go in it. I'll wash those off in a minute, but I've got another couple of little ones here. Let's do another little set. All oh, these little tiny ones. I have to be careful because with these little ones because I washed them before and um, I one went down the drain. That was the end of that one. I have somewhere in the waste treatment plant is a tiny, tiny acrylic stamp. Okay, it blurred a little bit because I moved, but I don't really care because, again, this is background. I'm off camera here. I'm just, I'm just stamping off my pieces. All right, so there's my background for that one. And um, let me grab another sheet here. And I'm going to just do a bunch more of these. It's already getting very, very warm here. Um, and I think I might do this one because I I'll cover up, I don't know. Uh, maybe not. Anyway, I'm going to play for a little bit. Uh, if you're enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if to let YouTube know that you like them. And click the notification so you know when the, um, you get the next one. And be f feel free to share these videos around. Um, if you have a group that you belong to that you think something I did might be interesting to them, share it with your group. Share it with your friends. Just share it. 
if you're if you're uh, just if you are working on one of these projects, go ahead and share it with with uh, on whatever social media you're on. All right. Uh, till later. This is Cindy signing off.